what is relative deprivation theory simply psychology. At the heart of human psychology lies the concept of relative deprivation, a theory that explores how our well-being is intricately linked to our perceptions of fairness and inequality in comparison to others. This exploration aims to simplify the intricate nuances of relative deprivation theory, providing clear examples to elucidate how the perception of being unfairly disadvantaged influences our thoughts, emotions, and behavior. The Basics of Relative Deprivation Theory Relative deprivation theory posits that our sense of satisfaction or dissatisfaction is not solely determined by our absolute conditions but is profoundly influenced by our comparisons to others. In simpler terms, it's not just about what we have, it's about what we have in comparison to those around us. Example, workplace promotions. Imagine work in an office where promotions are infrequent. If a colleague who joined around the same time as gets promoted while do not, might experience relative deprivation. Despite the absolute fact that still have a job, the comparison to our promoted colleague can evoke feelings of being unfairly disadvantaged. Social comparison and relative deprivation. Social comparison, a fundamental aspect of human psychology, plays a pivotal role in relative deprivation theory. We naturally evaluate ourselves and our circumstances by looking at others, and these comparisons can significantly impact our well-being. Example, social media and lifestyle comparisons. Consider scrolling through social media and seeing posts of friends enjoying luxurious vacations or showcasing their seemingly perfect lives. If our own life doesn't align with these glamorous portrayals, might experience relative deprivation. The perceived disparity in lifestyles can affect our mood and overall satisfaction. Subjective nature of relative deprivation. Crucially, relative deprivation is a subjective experience. It's not solely based on objective measurements but on how we perceive and interpret our circumstances in relation to others. Example, income disparities. Imagine two friends, Alex and Taylor, both earning $50,000 a year. If Taylor learns that Alex received a significant salary increase to $70,000, Taylor might feel relatively deprived despite still earning a decent income. The subjective comparison to a higher salary influences Taylor's perception of fairness and well-being. Group identity and relative deprivation. Relative deprivation is not confined to individual experiences, it extends to group identity. When individuals identify strongly with a particular group, perceived disparities affecting the group can intensify feelings of relative deprivation. Example, college sports rivalry. Think of a college sports rivalry where the fans strongly identify with their respective teams. If one team consistently loses to the other, the fans of the losing team may experience collective relative deprivation. The perceived disadvantage of their team contributes to a shared sense of unfairness among the fan base. Mechanisms of coping with relative deprivation. Individuals employ various coping mechanisms to navigate the emotional impact of relative deprivation. One such mechanism is social mobility, the belief in the potential for upward social movement. Example, career aspirations and social mobility. Consider a scenario where a colleague receives a promotion and experience relative deprivation. To cope, may focus on improving our skills, pursuing additional education, or seeking opportunities for career advancement. The belief in our ability to climb the professional ladder is an example of utilizing social mobility as a coping strategy. Political and social movements. Relative deprivation extends beyond individual experiences, influencing broader social and political dynamics. Prolonged and widespread feelings of relative deprivation can fuel collective action in social movements. Example, civil rights movement. The civil rights movement in the United States is a historical example deeply rooted in relative deprivation. African Americans, facing sustainable systemic discrimination and inequality mobilized to address the perceived disparities in basic rights and opportunities compared to their white counterparts. Limitations and criticisms of relative deprivation theory. While insightful, relative deprivation theory is not without its critics. Some argue that it oversimplifies complex social dynamics and neglects individual agency in coping with perceived disparities. Example, individual resilience and adversity. Consider an individual facing economic challenges but maintaining a positive outlook and focusing on personal growth. This resilience challenges the assumption that everyone experiencing relative deprivation will necessarily engage in collective action or experience severe negative consequences. Conclusion In the tapestry of human psychology, relative deprivation theory provides a lens through which we can understand the profound impact of social comparisons on our well-being. Whether in the workplace, on social media, or within societal groups, the perception of being unfairly disadvantaged compared to others influences our emotions, decisions, and even collective movements. Recognizing the subjective nature of relative deprivation and understanding the coping mechanisms individuals employ allows us to navigate the complexities of human experiences with empathy and nuance.
by shedding light on this psychological phenomenon, we gain insights into the intricacies of how our perceptions of inequality shape our psychological landscape, paving the way for a more informed and compassionate understanding of human behavior. World.